This video is on parallel and perpendicular lines. If two lines are parallel, that is, if two lines do not intersect, then they have the same slope. If two lines are perpendicular, that is, the two lines intersect at a right angle, then their slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. So for example, in the equation y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 5 and y equals negative 1 fourth x minus 7, those two are parallel because they both have a slope of negative 1 fourth. Notice that's the, your m that's in front of x. And the equations y equals negative 3x plus 2 and y equals positive 1 third x minus 8 are perpendicular because their slopes are negative 3 for the first one and one-third for the second which one, which are opposite reciprocals of each other. So let's take a look at a couple examples here. First one says, write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is parallel to y equals 2x minus 4 and passes through the point negative 3, 5. So I know that since these are parallel, they're going to have the same slope. So the slope I'm going to use is 2. And then a point on the line is negative 3, 5. That's going to give me an x1 and a y1 and I think I'm going to start with point slope form and then turn it into slope intercept form. So recall that point slope form was y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I can do y minus 5 equals 2 times x minus a negative 3 which is plus 3. And then I can turn this into slope intercept form by distributing the 2 and then adding 5 to both sides and that's going to give me y equals 2x plus 11. So that is the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 2x minus 4 and passes through the point negative 3, 5. Negative 3, 5 is actually a point on this line. Notice their slopes are the same, but what is different is their y-intercepts. The given line has a y-intercept of negative 4. This line has a y-intercept of 11. And our next example says, write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular to 2x plus 3y equals 12 and passes through the point negative 4, 6. So this is going to be perpendicular, so I'm going to be looking for opposite reciprocals for my slopes, okay? But the equation I'm given, the line I'm given, is written in standard form. I can't just look at that and easily figure out what the slope is. So I'm going to have to put it into slope-intercept form by subtracting 2x on both sides. That'll give me 3y equals negative 2x plus 12 and then dividing by 3 gives me y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. So these two lines here are just two different versions of the same line. So all I needed from this is I need to know that my slope is a negative 2 thirds. But because these lines are perpendicular, I'm not going to use the same slope. I'm actually going to use the opposite reciprocal of that or the perpendicular slope I'm going to use is a positive 3 over 2. So change the sign, make it opposite, and then a reciprocal, flip the fraction. And then I have a point here that I'm going to use as my x1, y1. So I'm going to use point slope form again. Okay, and y minus my y1 is equal to 3 over 2 times x minus a negative 4 which is plus 4 and I need to turn this into slope intercept form so I'm going to go ahead and distribute my 3 halves x and 3 halves times 4 gives me 12 over 2 or 6 and I'll go ahead and add 6 to both sides and that gives me y equals 3 over 2 x plus 12. And that's the equation of the line that is perpendicular to 2x plus 3y equals 12 and passes through the point negative 4, 6. So here I have a couple practice problems for you to try. I'd like you to stop the video and do these two problems in your math journal. Okay, let's take a look at how we do these. 
First one says write an equation in slope intercept form of the line that is parallel to y equals 1 fourth x plus 7 and passes through the point 4 negative 1. So I can notice from my equation that my slope is 1 fourth and because the lines are parallel I'm going to use the same slope and I have a point which is going to be my x1 y1 and I'm going to use point slope form. So y minus a negative 1 gives me a plus 1 equals 1 fourth times x minus 4 and to turn this into slope intercept form I will distribute so 1 fourth x minus 1 1 fourth times a negative 4 is a negative 1 and I'll subtract 1 on both sides so that's going to give me y equals 1 fourth x minus 2 You'll notice that that line has the same slope as our given line, but a different y-intercept. And the second practice problem says write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is perpendicular to 2x minus 3y equals 3 and passes through the point 4, 7. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what is the slope of this line. And in order to do that, I need to put it into slope-intercept form. So I'm going to solve for y here. and that gives me y equals negative 2 over negative 3 is a positive 2 thirds x minus 1 so the slope of this line is 2 thirds but I don't want that slope I want the perpendicular slope which is going to be the opposite so since that's positive it's going to be negative the reciprocal flip it okay in fact sometimes you might even just want to cross that out so you don't get confused and then I have my x1 y1 so y minus y1 equals my slope times x minus x1 and then let's go ahead and turn that into slope intercept form by distributing and that's going to give me 12 over 2 which is 6 and then I'll add 7 to both sides because I need to get y all by itself so y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 13 and that's the equation of the line that is perpendicular to 2x minus 3y equals 3 and passes through the point 4, 7. So in this video we took a look at what the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines are and then how to write lines that are parallel to a given line through a given point and lines that are perpendicular to a given line through a given point.